Hey brothers, what's going on? Um, I just want to talk about something real quick. Um, that it it might seem basic, but it always helps to be reminded. As I mentioned earlier in the week, you need to be reminded more than you need to be thought. And I want to talk about um, boundaries. There are some brothers who will advance through the various stages of their reboots all the way to the late stage and even the maintenance stage only to slip repeatedly and eventually relapse because there are some boundaries that they simply refuse to set. And the most common boundaries are usually with technology. <clears throat> there are some boundaries that some brothers, it will take them a year before they finally accept that they cannot have a smart TV in their home. They just can't. Like, it's, it's not going to work out, right? Um, there are some brothers who will not accept that there are certain forms of social media that they have to let go of. And you know what the interesting thing is? It's that <clears throat> a lot of times, things like the TV, things like social media, are not just uh, threatening your reboot. They're also holding you back in other areas of your life. They're the little distractions that you run to when your mind doesn't want to focus on the important things, when it wants to procrastinate, when it experiences resistance towards discipline. It's there, so your mind goes to it. A lot of times, if it wasn't there, you would leave your room, you would leave your office, you'd pick up your, oh shit, it's, there's not, I have to face the reality of my situation. Brothers, rebooting is deeper than just controlling your behavior. I know some of you show up here feeling that, yeah, I'm just here to control my sexual behavior and that's it. No, it's, it's going to open, <clears throat> it's going to open up a door uh, to you learning about the other areas of your life that you're struggling in. Understand that that's how it works for a lot of brothers. It may not uh, be as life-changing as it was for me. For me, it was little things like learning how to set boundaries, uh, having a morning routine, getting accountability, seeking mentors. I did all of these things just to control my sexual behavior. But then I realized that they applied to every other area of my life. And it has helped me so much. It's literally been life-changing because I would be a fucking loser. Li but by my definitions, anyway. I would be a loser if I did not apply that. I don't think there's any other way that I would have learned the things that I learned if not for the opportunity to control my sexual behavior. I don't think I would have been able, I, I don't think I would have come across accountability or, or coaching, or mentorship, or the importance of boundaries, or making your, just like having a great schedule. Uh, some of these things I would have learned from my career, uh, uh, selling door to door, but a lot of them came from rebooting, especially a lot of the lessons I'm learning today at 37 years old, right? So brothers, back to boundaries. It's a basic thing, but y'all need to let go of some of these uh, um, things that are causing you to slip. The TVs, the apps that you shouldn't be on. Like, it does take effort. But think about it. Like, how, how much effort does it really take? Right? How much effort does it really take? It just takes a little bit of effort to, when you make the decision, you're like, okay, I'm going to tell my accountability part. I'm, I'm going to get this, uh, take care of this boundary. And I am going to make a decision right now to let my accountability partners know anytime I'm thinking of crossing this boundary. You make the decision, you set a strong intention, that's it. That's all you need to do. The problem is many of you don't really do it the right way. You don't get rid of the TV. You don't delete the app. You're like, yeah, I'm just not going to watch the TV. I'm going to put the video game uh, under something. I'm going to put that device somewhere else. I, I'm going to put those pictures. I'm going to delete those pictures off my phone, but they're still going to be on, on, on the cloud. That's what you're doing. You're not fully letting it go. Why? Trial rebooter. You hope that one day 
you will be able to use some of this stuff in moderation. You hope I will control my behavior so I can go around and do all those other things. But brother, as you go through the process, you will start identifying the things that are unique to you. We have to commit to letting all those things go first. Commit to it. Commit to letting all the, like, okay, I'm going to get rid of the TV. Sure, you can get a TV later on, maybe years down the line, <clears throat> after your reboot, right? And uh, I'll leave you with this. There's nothing wrong with, I know I make it seem as like, yeah, just get rid of the fucking TV. Um, you can do that. But I understand that for some of you guys, it's not that easy. For some of you guys, there are cultural connections to it. For some of you guys, there are legitimate fears that, oh, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to get a date without my phone. I'm going to be absolutely bored without Instagram. Um, I don't know what to do without a TV. That's okay. Ask us in the group. We'll show you how to create a lifestyle without any of these things. All right? So enough said. Um, please go all the way with your boundaries. And I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts. Let me know in the comment section below. Bye.